Good morning, everybody. This is Mitchell. I'm broadcasting to you live from the middle of Orcs Must Die, and you're watching Adventures and Orcs Must Die. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what the game is. So basically, what we're doing is I actually already started the game, and I started on War Mage uh, difficulty, which is like the normal difficulty. Uh, the other difficulty is what I'll play it on, which is Apprentice. And uh, a quick note, guys, I'm really sorry. My audio is really screwed up right now. My mic is... I think I changed some of my mic settings around by accident, so sorry about that, guys. But uh, anyway, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to select the uh, level on Apprentice. And um, now, I have items unlocked, but I want to play true to the game, and I want to make it the same difficulty that I had it at the start. Well, other than the fact that I'm on Apprentice, so I will actually be using uh, the traps that I can only use on that level, um, that are only originally unlocked on that level. So, uh, I've spent here, here's the cutscene. I've spent years fighting for the Order. I've killed thousands of orcs and defended dozens of rifts. And this is how it ends. One slip and a kobold's blood, and my skull cracks open on the gatehouse steps. So now the task of defending this fortress falls to my... <clears throat> apprentice. That's it, then. The world is doomed. I think that was a bit harsh, considering that I'm just one guy, but, um, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna select things that I'm only able to use in the beginning, so what I can use is the, uh, spike trap in the bubble, or the mud pit, I believe, uh, oh, a couple archers, so that, that's gonna help. This first level's really easy. Um, I'm surprised this door is actually holding so long, but, uh, okay, so yeah, this is what I'm gonna do, put these, uh, bubble pits down and put the spike pits at the very front, let the archers deal with everything else. And, uh, here we go! Ho ho! Ha ha! Alright. Bring it! And here we come, here they come. They're trying so hard to get to me, but they're not gonna make it. Actually, I've found, I found that playing on the War Mage level, headshots are really, really good in this, so... I think that... I'm gonna keep the spike pits at the front, the bubble pits right there, and then I'm gonna kinda, I'm not gonna let them slowly come back, I'm gonna create a little choke point right here, cause they can kinda spread out. Uh, they get severely slowed down right there, let the archers take care of most of them, and then as soon as this round's done, like right now, I'll uh, place a couple uh, spike pits right at the choke point here, and then they, they, oh, they have to come into this little area here, so they'll pretty much be stuck. What are we on round two right now? So, I wish I could get through this. I, I'd go out there and I'd just fight them. When I get the belt, I'm just gonna camp the whole time. It'll be way, way, way better. But, uh, I know my buddy Sky Captain, he likes to go up and he likes to attack with the sword right up front. I prefer to stand back a little bit more and uh, attack with the bow and arrow. Both strategies are very, very easy to use, very, very effective. So, you know what? I find nothing wrong with them. Either one can work. Ba -da, dun, 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 dun. There's so many. There is. There's actually quite a few. I'm kind of surprised about this. Holy shit! I mean, crap. I I should probably be careful about the swearing. People, there might be young kids watching this. Screw my bow and arrow. I'll use a sword. Fear the might of my sword. Bloody bastards. And dead. Okay, so, uh, I don't think that they're gonna, gonna get very far back. So, let's place... Alright, so they'll automatically fall, fall into this little area now. No matter what they do, they'll... they'll this will pretty much weed out the majority of them, hopefully. I, I hope so. They should weed out the majority of them. Ooh, that that would be bad if they didn't. Sorry, guys, my mic, my audio is being really screwed up right now. It's kind of cutting me out at times there. Um, yeah, I'm watching my radar here, and it's kind of screwing me up. Um, okay, back to the game. Headshots. No kill streak on here though. That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Uh, kill, 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 kill. 
These guys are ugly. Holy shizzle my dizzle. Yo fizzle. Bitch. These, these orcs, they actually remind me of the Warcraft 3 orcs, where they're kind of stupid, and then they, they're kind of funny at the same time. Like, I, I'm just expecting one of them to turn around and be like, Alright, or be like, I don't know. Like, me, I know, I don't sound like Yoda, do I? Like that, do you, it, for Warcraft 3 humor. If you guys played it, then... Not World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3. God, come on, guys. But anyways, looks like... My strategy of running back and forth worked. Well, this has been the first episode of the hallways. I guess I got victory with two skulls. Only two skulls available. <laughs> well, this is everything, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is Mitchell. Out.